Hello everyone, today I'm going to be kicking off a two-part series on breadth-first and depth-first search. The first video will be a video on breadth-first search and the second will be on depth-first search. I've included a link in the description for the video on depth-first search, so be sure to watch that one right after. Like most people, I prefer to go through examples when I learn, so I'm going to be going over an example of BFS today. Now in this particular example, the starting node is going to be the highlighted node over here, node 0, and the goal node is going to be this green node right there. The first step in BFS is to take this starting node and to put it on our frontier. Now the frontier is a list of nodes that are the potential current nodes that we could select for the next iteration of our algorithm. Essentially, they're just a list of successor nodes of the nodes that we've already visited. So right off the bat, we're going to define our frontier as an array. Now you can use whatever data structure you like when defining your queue, but I prefer to use a looped array to define my queue. And when you're using a looped array, you need to define the front of your uh, queue by defining this front index. And when your, your frontier queue is empty, the rear index is actually going to be behind the front index. index. And that's when we know our frontier is empty, when the rear index is uh, behind the front index. So when we first enqueue this initial node here, we need to increment our rear index here, like this, and then add our value right there, like so. Now our frontier has one element. Now to get the current node, which is the node that we will be expanding, we need to dequeue our frontier. So to do that, in the context of breadth first search, we take our front index and we slide it forward. And then we take this element we pop it out and we set it to our current node. So our current node is now zero and we're going to color the graph accordingly. So as you can see this current node is now orange and that means that it's our current node. So then we take our current node and we expand it and what that means is we go to the successors of this node and that just means the nodes that are adjacent to the current node. And then we ask what I like to call the big question. The big question is, is this node the goal node? Well, you know, the goal node is actually node six. So no, it's not the goal node. Therefore, since it's not the goal node, we need to take this node and we need to enqueue it into our frontier. So we're going to do just that. Now remember to enqueue, we take our rear pointer, we slide it forward like that. And then we add the value into the array. And then we go to the next node, which in this case is a node two. And then we ask the same question, is this the goal node? Well, no, it's not. So that means that we need to add this node into the queue again. So we take our rear, move it forward, and we add two to our array. And then we continue expanding node zero. So we need to go to node four here, because it's next on the chopping block. Pop the question. Is this node the goal node? Nope. So we need to add it to our frontier. So we increment our rear here, and then insert four into the array, just like that. Now we expand the next node here, just node five. Is this node the goal node? Nope it into the frontier, increment the rear node, write number five, 
and continue to the last one that we need to expand, which happens to be node 3. Is this node the goal node? No. So we add that one to the frontier as well. Increment the rear node. And we write in number three. Now, if you look at the current node, we can see that we've actually visited all of its successors. Therefore, this node is a dead node, and we can mark it as so. Now, once we mark a node as a dead node, we will never, ever, ever visit this node again because it's dead, and we don't care about it anymore. So instead, since this node is the dead node, or a dead node now, we have no more current node because node zero has already been explored. Now we need to look at our frontier, which has these elements, and we need to decide which of these elements is going to be our new current node. Now this is the primary difference between BFS and DFS, which is what we're going to talk about in the next video. In BFS, like we did previously, when we DQ, we take this front, which is right here, take this front index, and we slide it forward. And then we pop this guy into the current node. In DFS, depth first search, it's different. Instead of taking this, we take this rear index and we slide it backwards. So instead of popping this guy out, we would pop this guy out. But since we are doing breadth first search, we're gonna take our front index we're going to slide him forward like that. And then we're going to take number one here. And we're going to pop him into the current node slot. Now our current node is node one. So we're going to mark up node one right here in orange to signify that it is in fact our current node. And now we're going to expand it. So notice, since this guy is a dead node, we do not go back because he's dead. Instead, we look forward to the future. And we expand this guy. Now we look at node number two here, which is the one that we just expanded. And we ask the big question, is it the goal node? Well, clearly not. So we need to add him to the array. So to do that, we when we NQ, we slide the rear index back one and add number two right there. Now if you look at this node, we've already, since we can't go backwards, and we've already expanded this guy, our current node is dead again. So we're going to mark him as a dead node. and we will never visit him again. We're at the point where we have to DQ again. So recall, when we're doing BFS, simply take the front index, we move it forward like that. And then we take this guy, we make him our current node. So our current node is now node So we're going to mark up node 2 right here as our current node and make it orange. Now, now that we're at uh, node 2, we can't go backwards because we've are this node is a, is a dead node, so you can't go visit him. We can't go here either because this guy is also a dead node. So next we go here to node 3. So let's go look at node 3. And then we pop the question at node 3. Is node 3 the goal node? Well, it's not. So we have to put our node 3 
in the front here, right there. Once again, we're going to take our rear index, slide it forward, and in goes node 3. Now, looking at the current node, we now have to go to node 4, because it's the next available one. So, now that we're at node 4, is this the goal node? Nope. So we need to put node 4 in right there. So we take our rear index, slide him forward, and we write in a 4 right there. Now the last one that we can look at is this node 6 here. So, now we're looking at node 6. Is this the goal index? Yes, it is the goal index. Therefore, our algorithm terminates and we have successfully found a path between the start node and the end node. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out my video on depth first search. There's a link for it in the description. I've also got videos on my channel on MATLAB demos for both DFS and BFS. They're pretty cool, so feel free to check them out. Thanks again.